So multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder that affects the central nervous system where uh, most patients with multiple sclerosis will experience attacks, uh, we refer to as relapses, where the immune system is actually causing inflammation and damage to either the brain, the spinal cord, or the optic nerves. Uh, so in the last week of March, the FDA approved both Mazent and Mavenclad for treatment of relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis. And one of the unique things about the label provided by the FDA for the first of those medications, uh, Mazent, which is under the generic name Saponamod, was that they included clinically isolated syndrome as one of the relapsing forms of MS that that medication could be used for. Um, the reason why that's kind of a unique issue is that clinically isolated syndrome is a, essentially what we refer to when a patient has their first attack of what is likely going to be multiple sclerosis, but may not yet meet the criteria to be diagnosed as having MS formally. The idea of being able to use a medication in patients who have clinically isolated syndrome is that yes, potentially you could prevent or delay the transition from having this first attack to having the next attack that gives you a diagnosis of MS. And I would say that most multiple sclerosis specialists would agree that the earlier we treat and the earlier we prevent these attacks and this inflammation on the MRI, uh, the more likely we are to prevent patients from developing disability later on in life. Mavenclad falls into a category of drugs that some MS specialists would refer to as induction therapy, where patients who have very active disease and are having relapses or MRI changes, even on an existing treatment, um, can go on this medication and potentially put the disease into remission entirely. And so induction in the sense that we can turn the disease off and then potentially patients are in remission for the remainder of their life or maybe can go on a safer, less potent medication to prevent the disease from coming back later on. And I, I see that as a very real breakthrough.